and this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. So right now, we're going to cover the Bonnevar Pranaja issue, which is the person who is graduating right now. It is huge to hear that anybody's graduating. Um, it all started pretty much with this here. I uh, hope they will meet again one day. Uh, they put the apologies for the silence. They're going on a trip thing. Um, and we have Bonnevar's actual thing here, which is a letter. I'm not good with words. And of course, Bonnevar Pranaja is this individual here who was somebody from Nidhi Sanji ID, or at least now former Nidhi Sanji ID. And they are, you know, going through everything that's going on. Uh, it says basically, you know, they're all leaving pretty much little by little. Uh, and we're going to go over what he's actually writing. It says good morning, afternoon and evening to you all, wherever you are. Uh, dear Bonitos, which is his, his uh, fan name. Apologies for the silence. I have been on missions lately, but overall, I'm just doing fine. Yet sadly, time isn't really on my side. Truly, the past three plus years feels like a forever dream to me. I'm still grateful for all the support that you've given me these times. I've got a bigger mission ahead. One that I might not even return from. I'm sorry that I have to go, but then again, I was happy to go through it all with e every one of you. I hope everything would stay the same, even without me being here. Take care of yourself. Sahat sahat ya. Uh, thank you for staying with me. Tomorrow will be another day. So long, friends. It's been real. And that's Bonnevar. Love you, big bro. Etna Crimson. Wishing you the best, man. I'm really glad I uh, got to meet a uh, friend and be friends with you. Albin Knox. Tomorrow's another day. Vox Akuma. Good luck on the path. Ditto. A lot of people are saying, you know, good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, and this is the person that they, they are on the side. So if you want to support them, that's the place that you're going to be supporting them with. Uh, they're also showing Michi Mochi V's likes right now. Of course, the likes that they're having, which is, um, you know, we need rest. Don't push yourself. The actual Nidhi Sanji Indonesia thing. So all these things could change eventually. But, um, yeah, Nidhi Sanji ID is losing another person to, uh, well, to the nastiness that is Nidhi Sanji overall. Of course, um, I do want to tell you guys that it is not unexpected that something like this is going to happen. Like, at least in my opinion, it wasn't unexpected that something like this is going to happen. Um, it is all very rough. Of course, this is a translation. His last stream was on December 20th, 2023, and has never done a single stream in 2024. The fact he was inactive on Twitter as well uh, shows that, you know, this was already planned for a while. He will be graduating two weeks from now on the 26th. He's not going to do a graduation stream according to the announcement. Here's the announcement. Thank you for supporting Nidhi Sanji, including Nidhi Sanji Ian all this time. And uh, they go over everything. It says, with a heavy heart, we'd like to convey the announcement to a lever who will graduate from Nidhi Sanji Bonnevar Pranaja. Bonnevar Pranaja will graduate from Nidhi Sanji on May 26, 2024. There are no plans to hold a stream for graduation, according to the leverage request. Uh, accounts such as YouTube channels and other social media will be closed sequentially after the graduation date, along with the library related sales, such as merchandise and voice. Bonnevar Pranaja has been an active library who has brought a lot of interesting content related to esports for Nidhi Sanji since 2020. Uh, with his unique charisma and sense of humor, Bonnevar has also participated in many Nidhi Sanji ID um, things, you know, Nidhi Sanji events, and has been able to attract the hearts of many good fans from within the country and abroad. We would like to express our respect for all the activities and works created by our liver, and we will continue to support Liver until the end of that Liver can spend time with his fans in graduation day. We would also like to express our sincere thanks to all relevant fans for their support for Bonnevar Pranaja. In addition, regarding to the period of receiving letters from fans, we will still accept letters up to one month after the graduation. For all questions regarding the announcement, please contact any color at that contact page. We will ask you not to contact the library from our company directly, which is, you know, just out of respect. And yeah, people are saying, you know, well, S, no graduation stream as well. That seems kind of sus for a lot of people for there not to be a graduation stream. And I can understand that. I can understand people not wanting to have the graduation stream happen uh, because they just want to be done with everything. They just want to just not have to deal with things as they are. And I understand that. I absolutely understand that. And I uh, am okay with someone doing that. Now, continuing on, uh, the, the JP and EN stuff here, we're having uh, the announcement here, uh, which is everything that we had mentioned before. Another good and fun talent from NGC, Niji Sanji EN uh, ID down. To be honest, Niji doesn't care at this point. It really doesn't. It doesn't seem to. Very expect expect 
like people expected this. I'm sure he's been doing this on his other account for a stream a while now. Happy for him, wish him the best. Also, you know, it's effed when like 99.9% .9 sure everyone wants anyone in Niji to just leave that place. Yeah, a lot of people want Niji Sanji to just be, you know, done and said, just, just done. Any ideas where he's heading next? No one really knows right now. Um, he's going to be probably doing his PL thing, as everyone knows. People do their PL stuff. Been streaming as uh, Tenjin for a while now. Even before the Doki situation, but he hasn't streamed in about two months. So no, it's got no idea what's going to happen. So he's still been streaming on his PL. Unlike a lot of people in Niji EN, he has been streaming on his PL. So that's another thing. And just wanted to cover this little picture that they have here. All the people who've left, the only people who are still here is Hanamachia, Rai Gale, uh, Layla, Etna, Nagisa, Darem. All these people are gone. All these people. Taka, uh, Dihendra, uh, Eletiora. All these people, Mika Malatika, Gia, everybody like that is uh, gone. And that's very unfortunate. Before they had more talents than Hollow ID. Now they have less than Hollow ID and only have nine girls. For shame, Niji, for shame. Having more talents than Hollow Live ain't exactly a compliment. New Dagon Rupa game is sick. Uh, stream was four months ago. Regardless of these six remaining ones, decide I wish you know them the best. Uh, number of streams this month, Hanamachia, Layla, too. Most people aren't streaming a lot, so it seems like there is a big push to maybe a lot of people are going to be leaving from ID. And it would make sense if a lot of people leave from ID because this is kind of a crazy situation right now. Part of me is starting to wonder if it's their choice now or if Niji is cutting them loose at the end of the contract. Because of the fact, as we see here, there's not going to be any sort of graduation stream. Um, and that's kind of the no graduation stream per Liver's request kind of seems a little bit sus when it comes to this kind of stuff. Of course, I, you know, you guys decide whether it meant that it was a stealth suspension and they just got him out or if he just decided, you know, what, a, a graduation stream is not worth it. It is tough to tell when it comes to all these types of things. So, of course, I will leave that part up to you guys. This big part that we're going to be talking about is Anime Expo Summer Jam. It's going to be uh, a big Nidhi Sanji, supposedly Nidhi Sanji concert happening here in the West. The reason why they're doing this is, uh, my guess, is that last year around Anime Expo time, they had Connect Your World, which uh, Hololive did. Connect the world, connect your world, that type of thing. And they're trying to do the same thing with uh, Niti Sanji. It'd be funny if a lot of Doki cosplayers showed up, that the talents fully enjoy themselves this time. It could be their last expo. With their own Reddit destroyed, I don't know what lies ahead. For sure, I mean, this took place last year, then this would be exciting. But at this point, it's too late. Probably signed the contract for the venue a long time ago, when Solen was still there. Niji isn't going to cancel the show before AX publicly announces what Doki will be doing at the expo. And AX can't legally cancel the show over what Niji did to Doki. That's the thing. Anime Expo is kind of stuck in rock and a hard place. They have a contract to abide by. They're not going to be canceling anything. Can't legally cancel a show over Niji to Doki. The only two ways for AX to cancel Niji event is either to force... Um, Forces the cancellation of the entire expo, or Niji does something really bad. Niji's going to do something really bad. Yeah, they're absolutely going to do something really bad. Absolutely. Right now, according to what's going on, this is like the Microsoft, what well, used to be the Microsoft Theater. I forget exactly what it's called now. They're just selling these areas in the front, which is probably because, you know, they know they can't sell the very back stuff. Even though, like, if it's going to be another Live 2D type of concert, um, then, yeah, they could sell pretty much everything because the viewing angles don't really suck. There's going to be two events during Anime Expo. It's going to be held at Peacock Theater. Oh, now it's called the Peacock Theater in Los Angeles with max seating capacity of 7,100 and it usually takes six months in advance booking, meaning AX has planned this event for months already. Probably before the lens stuff happened, what are the odds that this will be a uh, pre-recorded report for performance? Who knows? I know Niji and other corps do stuff for like 3D, so who knows? Curious to see how they will do. I'm already curious about the difference in fan support compared to last summer. Uh, last year, Nidhi Sanji was very popular at AX. There's a ton of Nidhi Sanji fan art and many booths across Artist Alley, which is now a gathered popularity. Uh, for the seats in public, they do look like they're just floor seats. It's been that theater for a few times. They do have floor seats. Surprised they're not utilize, utilizing balcony, especially with the fact that they don't do life two. They, they only do life two D. They don't do the three D stuff anymore. At least it doesn't seem like it. In comparison to Hollow concert in Melbourne last month, Hollow sold around half of the Rod, Rod Layer Arena, and it was seating capacity of fourteen eight twenty and sold out the premium seats. Um, and Hollow Life concert was tagged onto esports, a country that is thirteen million less. So yeah, that's that's the thing here. They're saying that they're having this Niji Sanji En thing. Um, they're doing, uh, they're doing wh what is it? Wonder Wonder World. Yeah, Wonder Wonder World, which is another thing that they're going to be doing there. 
Uh, they're doing the two things there. And this person saying that, you know, Anime Expo's on the side of Nidhi Sanji. They have a contract. This was probably before the Selen thing happened. So I don't think it's necessarily them being on the side of Nidhi Sanji. Doki did say Anime Expo also invited her. It was during her charity stream. So Doki was also invited for this whole thing. And that's the issue. That's the thing you have to look at. It's going to be held at Peacock Theater. Usually it takes six months advance booking. Meaning Anime Expo had planned this event for months already. Yeah, I planned it last year most likely is what it, what it seems like. So don't get too angry at Anime Expo. There may be a cancellation. We don't know. This thing was planned way beforehand. So just letting you guys know about that part. Don't report on a bit of good news right now. Scream schedule for now uh, on any live app Nexus event. Enjoy back to back stream schedule adjustments may occur. So uh, all these people are getting their streams event schedules. Um, they haven't been given up. This is the the of course Nexus. Um, they haven't been abandoned, which is good news. These are all the people from Nexus that are going to be doing their Annie Live thing. I still don't like, personally, that Annie Live was even a thing, you know? That's the talent stream earlier in the day. Some of us are in retirement homes and can't stay up that late. See you all there. Thank you for your feedback. We're taking some steps before we uh, completely release streaming to the public. As for now, we're streaming applications open. We're contacting people shortly. Yeah, basically, they're trying to um, trying to get... Uh, basically trying to get new streamers into the Annie Live platform. Anyone that's interested in doing that in Annie Live can, of course, apply. And that is uh, when it comes to this. It's a short one, but it's a good one. Annie Live is trying to open up to more streamers and Nexus people are haven't been abandoned yet. A little bit of an update on the VTuber Shizzy making a video to expose and discuss a lot of racism, supposedly, except he opened a video with a compilation of clips supposedly show VTubers being R on stream. Many of the clips were non-English speakers saying Japanese stuff that sounds like it could be the N-word, um, but it isn't actually the N-word. Uh, Takanashi Kari saying the N-word while rushing through a song, but edited the immediately apologized to give for a mistake. Exactly. It was rushed. It was a mistake. It was a song because some songs have the N-word. You know, Shizzy has been doubling down on Twitter and deleting negative comments on the YouTube video. Artificially creates support. His fans are also asserting that everyone he said was everything he said was true, and they are backlash he's receiving on Twitter while denying anything he said was wrong. Shizzy is a tourist using bad faith arguments to generalize people of culture of a culture he doesn't understand and is deflecting all criticisms. Yeah, he seems like a it seems like a tourist moment uh, by blaming all of it on bad actors. Similarly, thing to what Kenji did not long ago to Sayu. I know it isn't exactly related to Niji, but it is a problem in the community. Um, and he got community noted. Uh, many of the VTuber are Japanese and using words like nigai, bitter, that's bitter, N-I-G-A-I, nigai, it's bitter. The GTA 5 clips are Japanese VTubers who didn't understand the N-words and repeated it. One was signing for karaoke, and while reading the lyrics, she said it, singing for karaoke, and then apologized after. That's all the information that we really need to know about that. Uh... Accusing someone of racist because they spoke something in their native language sounds like English slur is in itself pretty effing R. Here's a link to cover sites so you can report these people. Do report them. It's covercorp.com slash en slash report. Do report them for this because they this is slandering uh, a lot of their talents. And it's also doxing a talent. No matter if their photo was out before, you don't put it out on a video. You don't put it out on a video, a negative video like this, because it invites people to actually try to fully dox them. Being a person of color, I have to say that I'm glad that the, the guy from V Shoujo exists and Michi Mochi V clip came out. This guy doesn't represent us, and I know many black people would love VTubers because they know they make mistakes and slip up. I feel a lot of anime fans and the majority of the black community aren't tourists and are genuine fans why it's important to deal with incidents like Kenji and this guy. He made a follow-up video doubling down on everything. Kind of content creators feels controversy. Of course, he's doubling down because he doesn't care about being fair or factual. He cares about giving a cheap thrill to his viewers who already have their mindset on the subject. Shizzy made an apology vid, ragging on Kaliopi Mori, revealing the roommate and showing a song that she long disavowed. And he called the JP girls shorties can't be bothered to distinguish between Japanese or Korean. F him, he gives us a bad name. How can he point out the injustice of offhand S on East Asians? Also, he's tight with Niji, with uh, Shin Kenji, the a-hole who started a war with Sayu. Can't believe he riled up the troll, gotten me. You know, and he's basically going on this. Watch this so you don't have to. Corpo docs, complaining about jokes, um, complaining about kayfabe, insulting VTube reviewers. Uh, do you know these people jerk off to you? Hey, they're actually ugly dudes, calling VTubers their fans ours, complaining about edgy jokes, wanting VTubers to be canceled for edgy jokes, stinking VTuber reviews, more VTubers are R, VTubers artists are R, 
uh, made up scenarios about someone being upset about VTuber ships, complaining about parent parent social relationships another vtuber viewer insult big collabs bad insert vtubers are balding balding men uh once again complaining about kayfabe twitter virtue signal last minute insults unironic do better does own virtue signaling uh says how doxing is bad while face doxing amelia uh study finds op still sucking blank on a regular basis and that is the thing that's going on and of course he did get community noted um uh basically this is just dumb uh let me see if i can find his channel uh, on the whole thing. Uh, let's see. Let's go to youtube.com. It's this dude here. He made in a video that was supposedly apology and, uh, he is doubling down on stuff. Basically, uh, he, he's saying like, I'm sorry for you guys getting offended by what I said instead of making an actual apology. So this is just dumb stuff going on. Quick beat of memes over here for all of you guys. Can you guys tell me about Hanamori? I really have no clue besides the Niji and Livers. This is, I don't know what Hanamori is and I'm too, point, I'm too afraid to ask. Utaita Singer released two songs. Four members of the group are Niji Sanji, Ilirish, Yuki, Shu, and Claude are Hanamori and friends. So that's that. That's the the the, uh, the meme here. Translation, first panel, they look happy. Second panel, Siska, taking so long on patrolling. Right, bro. Lol, third panel, Bobo and left. Wait, why bros taking so long on fishing? Fourth panel, Etna finally realized, I just can't, man. Yeah, this is the meme on what I mentioned before. Basically, she's just losing all her friends. She's losing everyone around them. It's it's a sad meme, but it's a meme there nonetheless. The last, the one of the, the ones that I want to put here. Sorry, I have to make this meme out of here. Basically, RNAD Sanji has become a restricted community. Only approved users can post, like approved, flared, whatever you want to call it. There are many who do this, unfortunately. Uh, so they've gotten so scared of people posting that they're going to be doing this. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, Needy's sister be like, uh, is that real? Nah, probably only staff are allowed to post. Would be hilarious if it actually works, though. Now only six posts there. Whole sub is locked down. The only things there are posts from the official account or moderators. So they've locked the account. And Needy Sanji is memeing that. It's just, it works, apparently. Like the boots, it works. Because of the fact that people were doing so many things, it worked and they got that knocked down. And here's this one. Where did we even go wrong? Uh, we shouldn't blame ourselves. We aren't responsible for her choices. I miss her interactions with Ho Hollow ID 1. But now it's never going to be the same anymore. Generally expected to be Hollow ID at one point. Now it's close to Hollow ID as Gen 1. For the uninitiated, yes, that's Millie's PL, Lyrica. Uh, the one starry-eyed indie from the Philippines turned into international talent, turned into member of the infamous Click. So that's basically where did where did anything go wrong? You know, that's the kind of a kind of thing there. And here we go. Not interested. I don't like the videos. It's better than don't like the videos. I was once a lifetime opportunity. Private the video, private the video. Hear me out. Manipulative hiss. Most insane. Lazulite and the fish. The fish as well. They're trying to hook you in. But don't let them hook you in. Some thoughts while making it. Uh, Pomu lost her body but keeps her head. Illyra and Finana keep their bodies but lose their heads. Yeah, that's kind of a, that's kind of an interesting one there. Arne Di Sanji seems to have had an issue recently. As I mentioned uh in the stream i'll mention it here uh they are purging everything from uh the last month only birthday posts let's take let's take a look yep only birthday posts that's it happy birthday post things uh posted by uh approved users everything from the last month like the last thing was 11 days ago happy birthday shoe 18 days ago two months everything that is not from an actual moderator has been removed I love how Niji actively went against Reddit's guidelines and ended up completely destroying the community, their fans. Please don't take moderation positions in a community where your profession, employment, or biases can pose a direct conflict of interest. Uh, but of course, everybody does that. Because, I mean, let's just be honest here. If we're going to be criticizing Niji Sanji for doing this, we got to criticize people like Hololife for doing the same thing. Because Hololife and I'm pretty sure Idol Corp and others do this as well. Just being honest and truthful here. But yes, um, the difference is... Hollow Life doesn't do what, Nid what Nidhi Sanji just did on the subreddit of closing it down and restricting it from other people using it. They don't do that, but Nidhi Sanji loves doing that. Since I wondered about it in another post, I decided to follow through and reported them. Uh, the sub is clean. Why would people make positive posts to make them anymore if it's just going to get removed and banned? Probably just ruin the possibility of any fans returning to the main sub, and those fans just migrate to one of the other Nidhi subs now to post. That's true. That's the thing here. And here we go. This restricted community, only approved users can post, but you can still comment. So yeah, those things are actually true. A uh, reason for the purge is simply my, simple my book. Minimum wage intern couldn't give an arse. He nuked the whole thing. They're just afraid. They're afraid of everything. 
Seems to be really tied to layout, uh, sort of type of my text. A Reddit things normally, new and mobile uh, loads normally. If slowly, when sorting by hot, switch to new. Instantly, anything beyond those six birthday posts ceases to exist. So it might just be a glitch, but it seems more like Nidhi Sanji is just running scared, as they tend to do a lot of recently. And um, right here, what will happen to the Nidhi Reddit? They are just it's going to die off. 91,000 people used to have fun here. Now it's just a ghost town. Huge purge again. They even deleted positive posts. Almost makes you feel bad for the one user who posted two to four times a day trying to drum up enthusiasm. Mods just destroyed everything, even the latest posts about the Japanese talents, the utter disregard for even their own home talents. Uh, and so, not only saw these, even the new post from Nidhi Sanji, Shill like Crimson, has been deleted. So they deleted everything. They went and just made it a ghost town with tumbleweeds right here. You know, that's what they did. They made it a ghost town with tumbleweeds. It's the reason here you got banned for posting from each topic, but now all the topics made by mods and read like a bot post, so no one cares. Uh, it's funny because if you scroll down a bit, there are threads about the disastrous quarter three financial report. So they just deleted the last thing in like the last month, I guess, it seems like. But this is not a good move because this type of censorship really does not hit well. It actually goes against... A lot of things that reddit wants to do and it will destroy your community so bad move on their part i guess spectrum the quarter four financial reports for hollow life have come out for nidhi sanji not so much for hollow life they've come out right now so i don't know what nidhi sanji is doing uh i don't know if they're going to be releasing it soon or if they're going to wait until people graduate and then you know have a quarter four report at that point but um in case you guys missed it, they're also transitioning and changing their listing in the Tokyo Stock Exchange from growth market to prime market, makes them prime to position for global expansion and will potentially open cover corp for foreign investments. They are leaving any color behind now. Cover is the main and sole frontier for now, frontline for now. Um, they the, the other thing that I covered in like a meme section is this a high recognition cover is doing really well, while company A, which is any color as we know now, isn't doing so well. Brand bland awareness. I'm happy Nidhi Sandy's intern Kuhn is moving up in the world. Um, but yeah, standout things for me. Page three, revenue 30 billion yen uh, with 4 billion yen of profit. 4 billion yen of profit, something like divided by 100. And then you get what you want. 150 actually. Uh, 58,000 tickets in fifth concert. 168,000 tickets for online streaming. 14, 148, 1.48 billion yen for performer remuneration. That means they gave their performers, their talents, 1.48 billion yen. Uh, that's the talent's pay. That's their base pay, I think. An increase from last quarter of 1.16 uh, billion. Page 21 and 26. More engagement for middle and light fandom. Turning them into core fandom. Lol. Uh, even more employees. Page 43. Uh, from 492 to 509. Page 46. Look at the jump in fixed assets. So let's take a look at everything. We have here. Revenue 30 uh, billion yen. Pretty much. 13 billion yen of gross profit. 5 billion yen of gross operating profit. And net profit of 4 billion yen which is which that means that means after they have all their tax liabilities all their everything 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 is paid off that is after all their the requirements of paying that is their net profit total number of subs 88.41 billion million uh 85 vtubers and 355 million japanese yen of yearly revenue per vtuber that's per vtuber streaming content fiscal year 2023 uh the forecasts the revenue so they they went up year on year uh compared to forecast they're up six percent so they beat their forecast which means that hollow live is beating all the forecasts that they're having merchandising gross profit they're beating all the forecasts so far that's what that's the takeaway here the revenue from uh quarter four of 2023 and quarter four of 2024 is 43 percent all on the upticks including streaming concerts merchandising gross profit it all is going up current status of growth everything is looking good for uh, Niji Sanji, well not Niji Sanji, for uh, Hollow Life, Japan 54.27 million yen, overseas 29.1 million yen, number of subs by languages and regions. So, yeah, their, their, their subs are moving up, they are not stagnating when it comes to that current status of revenue per VTuber. It's kind of moving from 102 and court from quarter four to quarter four year on year, they're uh, improving revenue by 26 percent per VTuber. Everything is moving up quarter four to that, it's all going up. Revenue, gross profit margin, operating profit margin, everything. It's all an uptick. Of course, this is their uh, quarter four reports on, um, you know, they're going to do what they can to make it look good for them. Uh, growth of year on year, 43% against the backdrop of revenue growth in merchandising service, as well as contribution to the largest events. So they're saying here, like what we had gone over here before, uh, the 58,000 tickets on page 10, which is over here. 
effects and expo did 2.4 billion yen revenue uh shipments made in order products went up uh seasonality due to made made to order merchandise is also going up scaling up the fest expo side 30,000 fest side 226,000 a uh, normal audience members uh compared to previous year uh they're going better details of the fest online 168,000 here as you're seeing there uh quarter four the cost level rose due to increases in production costs and performers so that means they're spending more money but they're also making more money unlike nidhi sanji which is not going to be spending any money and they said that they don't spend money to make money in the future uh they are you know doing this right now like hollow life believes in investing in their talents trends you know the trends are all moving up the historical trends and sgna expenses um sgna is basically all their um sgna related to ec basically all their logistics all their their talent stuff um operating income and operating margin 19.3 percent margin which isn't bad overview of service mix and product mix uh re percent of revenues due to, to the segments we have uh, in fiscal year 2024 they had a larger percentage of merchandise so merchandise is doing a lot better for them and licensing is also doing a bit more it the um even concerts and events went up the only thing streaming and content percentage of revenue went down so merchandising they're having a bit more revenue shipping goods related to large events in-house planned goods medium to long term they want to create culture loved by all which is good vtuber agency to expanding the ip which basically means that they're going over you know stuff to go on um in the future they're moving from building up the vtuber they first they built up their vtuber ip base and now they're doing commerce activities also based on ip so they're trying to diversify as much as they can change the sales structure of ip companies um they're going to merchandising and licensing like was shown before that's a bigger cut of what they're doing now milestones towards mission accomplishment uh focus areas on ip business so they're focusing on the intellectual properties and making those grow and they're going to be expanding in the future into us and other markets into making their economic zone larger so that's what they want to do they want to develop uh, larger content bigger content expand awareness among fans who enjoy entertainment content all that kind of stuff areas to consider for strategic partnerships m a in addition to in-house business development we will actively consider strategic partnerships uh with uh merchandising and you know acquisitions and all that kind of stuff um so yeah they're going to be expanding all their stuff this is basically their plans to expand that uh link to medium long-term strategy they want global market to say see that the global market itself is growing they want to grow in the global markets what they're saying uh, for fiscal year 2025, what they want to do is expand. They want to expand. They've been showing a lot of rates of change, plus 70%, 33%, all that kind of stuff. Reference marginal profits. Their marginal profits are up too. So they're they're not only spending more on their talents, they're making more in profits overall because they're spending on their talents and they're doing something good for everyone involved. Multifaceted content development with an eye for fan nurturing. They're trying to nurture their fans. They're trying to give their fans something to enjoy. Uh, expanding customer contacts through high quality. Yeah, they're basically trying to uh, production generated content and user generated content. They want the primary creation is like their 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 uh, their VTubers. The user generated ones are the games, the clips, that type of stuff. They want those to increase. Uh, customer contact points through partnerships they want to do you know merchandise partnerships other partnerships with uh uh spanning stores in, in north america they actually want to make stores for their stuff to uh starting sales at animate los angeles from september 2023 so animate is a store brand in in uh in los angeles uh that they have there and they're actually starting to sell their products there specifically directly with them more than 30 stores in tokyo japanese lifestyle from april 2024 increasing ip contact opportunities for you know meet and greets all that type of stuff to try to get people more excited about all this stuff enhancement of product services and overseas fans they are going to be going into id other places in order for overseas fans to be able to buy more of their merch because merch is doing a lot better for them so that's what they're going to be doing they go streaming content they want the, I, I, the fan base to start with streaming content concerts events and the con commerce development is merchandising and licensing of course to different brands Outlook for our game metaverse related businesses. This is something Hollow Indie, Hollow Live Licensing, Hollow Earth. They're trying to make that into a revenue share and a company revenue and making that grow. Anime Look Metaverse, Hollow Earth. They're increasing that. That was a big project that they have. It's a big project that's going to continue for them. The Appendix, Revenue Diversification. They want to diversify the content, which is basically like every company wants to diversify all of their stuff. Uh, conceptual 
image of expanding the VTuber economic zone. VTuber economic zone is basically making VTubers uh, be loved and be uh, people interested in them worldwide from Indonesia to Korea to wherever. Just they want to increase it because, of course, increasing that means they increase their sales and increasing their sales means good things. Make VTubers elevate to the culture of the youth generation, especially in countries with an anime culture and penetrate global content market that transcends countries and generations. Of course, VTuber content will transcend regions, generations, creating a unique economic zone, penetrating each market. So that's what they want to do. For affirming the existence of passionate fan communities, they want to give their fans more stuff. Basically, online, offline events globally, they want to increase that. Professionally generated content, these are the appendixes where they explain everything. Environment that, that promotes UGC, user generated content. Hollow Indie Project, this is a big project that they've done that basically they give indies a chance to revenue share with Hololive and create actual Hololive generated, that like uh, user generated content for Hololive using their IPs without getting, you know, struck down or anything like that. It started in November 2023, you have Idol Showdown, Hollow Parade, Hollow X Break, Wow Wow Corona Box, Miko and Magma, ESG related stuff. Uh, support activity at content creator. We're working with various industry associates to improve working environments. They're doing ESG related stuff. A lot of people don't like that, but you know, it, it helps with their, their full everything. So they, they got to do it. Um, creator economy associations, music publishers. They're trying to work with everybody to make a good environment, which is great. It's great for their, their livers. It's great for everything. Contribute to public awareness, PR activities, leveraging community skills and affiliated VTubers, Tokyo tourism ambassadors, awareness campaign with Japanese AED foundation. Um, organizational structure, they're showing IP planning is 35%, sales and marketing 21%, agency management 19%, metaverse 11, backline, back office is 14 with management, corporate planning, administrators. They have all these management ones, historical trends and employees. They started out with two in 2016, they grew 2021, now they have 509. So all these other things are all their summaries on everything that they want to do. Just wanted to go over everything. I appreciate you guys staying here and watching along with me. This is a big eye opener on what a Hololive wants to do. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.